This video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about them later. You know summer is coming and I plan to build a lot of crazy stuff. And really often I need some gear ratio. So far I have designed a new gearbox for every project. That's why I was thinking that I need one gearbox design that will work and is easy to print and build. So I took a time for designing this. And oh boy I didn't get this right at the first time. Let's start with planet gears. For this we need planet carriers, 3 planet gears, M4 bolts, ball bearings and 3 M4 lock nuts. For some reason I show here only 2. This is everything that you need. I say this all the time, but use raft when you are printing gears. This helps to avoid elephant food and gears will work properly. Ok let's push those bearings into the gears. I'm using wise, but when you don't have that, then you just can hammer those in. The fit have to be really tight. Pushing those in is actually pretty satisfying. Now we can put everything together. If those bolts don't want to go through the holes, then use a 4mm drill and drill those holes just a little bit bigger. It's really important that the gears are not too tight and not too loose either. Best and I think the easiest way is to over tight them and then slowly unscrew those bolts till the gears start moving freely. Now this planet gear set or whatever this is are done. The next step is to connect motor to the mount. I'm using 775DC motor but you can use pretty much every motor what you like. You just have to design the right motor mount. For example 895DC motor or NEMA 17 stepper motor. Installing the motor is nothing more than just screwing this in place with 4mm bolts. For sun gear we have to push two M4 square nuts into the slots. This hole here, you probably guess, is to reach the Z screws. When the motor is mounted and sun gear is in place, we can move on to the first stage. Now for this I'm using exactly the same bolts with what I attached the planet gears to the planet carrier. Do just a little wiggle wiggle and this planet set should go there pretty easy. This gearbox is not ready yet but we can do a little quick test. This is definitely working but those planet gears wanna come out. It's because the cover that's hold this in place was not there. Let's put this cover on and run this again. So far everything is working really well, but the coolest part is coming. We start adding more stages, but for this I have to print a bit more parts. So it take a bit time, which mean this is the perfect moment to speak about today's sponsor Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for beginners up to professionals. If you want to learn something new or boost up your skills, this is the perfect place for you. And also incredibly affordable, it's less than $10 a month with annual subscription. On Skillshare you can learn animation, graphic design, music, business, marketing and those are only few examples. But something that really catch my eye is a class from Thomas Frank, it's called Productivity Masterclass. Create a custom system that works. And it really works. You have no idea what the mess is happening when I'm doing my videos. Mostly because I cannot organize my time and I do stuff in the wrong order. I'm following what I learned in this class and I already see the progression only in 3 days. There is nothing better to getting better. Join Skillshare today and for that you have the perfect opportunity. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get the free trial of Skillshare premium membership. So you can explore your creativity. Back to the video. The next stages are a bit different from the first stage. These have this little extrusion and because of that this part need a little bit support material. This is really easy to remove. 
Now we need a little bit longer bolts than we used before. For the third stage you have to do exactly the same thing. Wait, what? Uh, no, 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 those bolts go here where the holes... Oh my... You probably got the point now. Literally you can stack up this gearbox to the moon. In this case the gear ratio is pretty useless. But when you finally have the desired amount of stages, then finish this gearbox up with this cover. And you are done. One really important thing that I didn't do before is to lubricate everything. I didn't do this because it was a bit cleaner to record this video. Lubrication is especially important for the first stages. But let's put this gearbox now together one last time and we are ready to finally do some tests. So far everything seems to work really well. I 3D printed one inner gear that snaps tightly to the last sun gear. And also some holders maybe uh, to hold this gearbox on the wood plate. First attempt, one and half kilograms at the 35 centimeter. By the way I'm using only 60 to 75 percent of power. If I use full power it will be too fast. So it's not even full power. This was pretty easy. Let's try now 3 kilograms. Hmm, <laughs> not a big deal. 5 kilograms at the 35 centimeter. Gearbox had no problem to lift this up. The only difference here was when I turned the power off, it started moving down. Now car brake disc. This is almost 10 kilograms. Gearbox had enough power to lift this up, but this last sun gear what is printed with ABS plastic snapped. It's really easy to fix. Everything else worked like it should. But 10 kilograms at 35 centimeters. It's pretty impressive. I print the new output sun gear with PTG and I use way stronger print settings. Test number two, traditional weightlifting. Again, I print this inner gear and for other side, I designed something like a coupler. Just in case, I print some extra holders. Okay, let's get started. For the first attempt, we are going to lift two car brake discs. Those are a bit smaller and weight 7.5 kilograms. In total, this is 15 kilograms. This was easy. I had a 10 kg disc what we used in the last test. Total weight 25 kg. Still not a problem. Now I find even heavier brake disc which weighed 16 kilograms. Let's keep the number simple and call this test 40 kilograms. Mm, 
Now it's broken, but not the gearbox. Gearbox had enough power to lift this up, but this coupler thing failed. Actually, this is not a surprise for me. I was sure this is the thing that will fail. But I think it did a pretty great job because look at that bolt, it's completely bent. I think this is the end of the testing. Even if we will find the moment when this gearbox cannot lift up some amount of weight, then I just can add one more stage and the result is completely different. But I wanna explain again why I built and designed this gearbox. In one of my previous videos I built a radio controllable tank. It's a great video by the way, I recommend to watch this. When I was at the really beginning, most time goes to designing and building a gearbox. Then I was thinking that when I need some gear ratio in this type of projects, it's not really practical to all the time design a new gearbox. I should design something what works and is easy to build, that's why we are here today. And because I never know how much gear ratio I need for some projects, that's why this is stackable. But I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then maybe hit the subscribe and like button if you haven't done this yet. And I hope you will build this gearbox by yourself and send me a picture to Instagram. But thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.